Hello, in this problem we are going to find f sub x. This is the partial derivative of f with respect to x at a, b for this function. And we're going to do it using the definition of partial derivatives. So it's going to be a little bit longer than the short way of doing it. So we'll just start by using the formula. So the derivative of f with respect to x at a, b, is given by the following limit. This is going to be equal to the limit. And I'm going to use h instead of delta x, but you can certainly use delta x instead. The limit is h approaches zero of f of a plus h comma b minus f of a b. And all of this is being divided by h. So basically, it's just like the formula for a single variable, except you have an additional variable. Notice that we're only adding the h to the a here. We're leaving the b fixed, which kind of mirrors what's happening when you actually compute this algebraically, right? If you wanted to find the answer algebraically, it's pretty easy. Um, at least at x, y, it would simply be 2xy. Right? You just take the derivative here with respect to x, you bring down the two, and then you treat the y as a constant. And then since we want it at a, b, you would just plug in a and b here for x and y, and we'd be done. So doing it the long way, it's very, very similar. Uh, you treat um, the y variable as a constant, so you don't change it. There's no h here. Okay, so this is equal to the limit as h approaches zero. And so now we're just going to figure out what this is. Basically, this means we're going to replace x with a plus h. And then we have our b here, that's our y, minus f of a, b, which will be a squared. And then we have our b. All of this is being divided by h. Okay, this is equal to the limit as h approaches zero. So now we can multiply this out. There's a nice formula. Basically, you square the first one. You add, you multiply these and double them, so 2ah. And then you square the last one, so plus h squared. And we have a parentheses here, and we have our b. And this is minus a squared b. So very similar to what you would do again in a single variable case, just the formula is a little bit different. By the way, if you're curious, if it was the partial with respect to y, we would add the h to the b instead and not the a. All right, so this is equal to the limit as h approaches zero. And we're gonna go ahead and distribute this b. So it's a squared times b plus 2ah times b. So I'm gonna write that as 2abh plus, and then h squared times b minus a squared b minus a squared b. All of this is being divided by little h. Oh, this is really nice. We get some cancellation here. These go away. And you can factor out an h here. So this is equal to the limit. As h approaches zero, we can pull out that h. So we're left with 2ab, 2ab plus, and we're left with hb because we're pulling out one copy of h. So we still have one left all over h. This is really nice because they cancel. And so we have now the limit. As h approaches zero, parentheses 2ab plus hb. And now we're finally at a point where we can plug in h. You know, we couldn't do that before because we would have ended up uh, dividing by zero. So this is equal to 2ab. And when you put h equals zero here, you just get zero times b, which is just zero, so you just get 2ab. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.